So introducing you guys to a new off-the-track thoroughbred. This is uh, Grand Patron. And um, it's kind of a fun story about this guy. As a friend of mine, that is a friend of the breeder of him, in fact, contacted me and said, hey, this guy's running a little slow at Gulfstream. So back in February, I messaged the trainer and just kind of kept going back and forth and uh, he really does or did have a case of the slows. He raced nine times and was second to last almost in every race. Um, and, you know, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for me, but it's not great if you are supposed to be a racehorse. So uh, I was able to kind of talk with the trainer and then finally a couple of months later we were able to come and pick him up. So um, you can see he's got a really nice attitude. He's a little bit on the lean side. Uh, and then again, a fun story is he's actually uh, related to uh, my two-year-old gelding that I have, Dobby. So he's a half-brother. And I also, my dad, in fact, has their mother. So pretty cool. And you can see he's licking and chewing and he kind of just taking things in and he, he's got some precious ears. Uh, I really can't wait to get Dobby and um, I've actually named him Ron, which any Harry Potter fans out there, I have a Dobby. And so since this guy is red and his name's Grand Patron, kind of played on the fact and his name is Ron Ron um, or Ron or Ronald. Um, but you can see here, just trying to make sure I have him situated nicely in the trailer. Uh, this is my six horse head to head. And so I made sure I brought some good alfalfa. I only put the shipping boots on the front. Um, I wasn't sure how he was going to handle it on the back. And I didn't really want him kicking around. So I just left him without it. Uh, so I have some straight alfalfa for him. And uh, since we are coming from Miami, it's a good four and a half hours, almost five hours back to Ocala. So um wanted to make sure he had enough hay and he seemed really nice and content in the trailer. And uh, you can just see he has a really nice expression, super cute face. And so going to get him on his way back to the farm. So off we go. And here is a side confirmation pick for you guys. He is a bit butt high and he's a little bit on the lean side. So he's going to get some groceries when we get home. Um, but, you know, I just for some reason was compelled. I had a gut feeling about this guy and I needed another horse like a hole in the head. But it's kind of a fun connection anyways with having his half brother and, you know, not sure quite what he's going to do, but we're going to kind of let him get home and get settled and have some relaxation after the track. So here is going to be a little bit of his pedigree. He's by Poseidon's Warrior, which this is a picture of him. So really nice looking stallion that I think did really well. And then here's a shot of his mom that we have. This was just taken off of a still of a video. And then you'll get to see Dobby. Uh, who is two years old and <laughs> he measures huge right now. He's going through a growth spurt as well 16 2 on his bum and 16 hands at the withers at the moment um, but Such a sweet and kind of it's been really fun to see him grow but Has a really nice temperament really nice mover. So if Hopefully that's an indication that uh, His brother Ron will be the same so on arriving home You'll get to see he came off the trailer. Now, something about bringing the off the track, their reds off. You'll see I have bell boots on the back. Now, he still has his racing plates on. And with those racing plates, they have toe grabs on them. And he was interfering a little bit behind and he had several cuts and stuff. So I decided to put the bell boots on to see if that would help, you know, keep him from cutting himself up when he went out in the field. Uh, but you can see he's kind of just checking things out. And also, it, it kind of depends on the horse. Um, 
kind of their mentality and how they handle themselves. Um, and he's pretty good. He's just checking out the other horses. And again, some horses, they can handle the turnout. Sometimes they need a little bit of help. If I have one that's a little bit more anxious, um, I might have one of my Mustangs come. Ooh, he touched the fence um, and help them. But also just because of quarantine purposes, I also, if they can handle it, um, keep them separated for a little bit. But it's also good for them to get acquainted with the fences. So this fence I have hot. It's actually electric on top, middle, and bottom. And uh, does a good job of teaching the thoroughbred babies that they cannot push on it because they can be kind of naughty about pushing on fencing. So, and this is just, again, video. This is his first time in turnout. He is pretty quiet, just wanted to eat grass. <laughs> and he's moving funny because he has bell boots on, a little goob. Um, and, of course, he just lost the bell boot. But everything seems fine. Um, <laughs> he's quite a nice little mover. So it's going to be interesting. Again, kind of the first couple of things I do is let them get settled. They have to get used to a new routine. Um, and depending on the mentality, some some take it really well, like this guy has. Oh, he touched the fence again. Um, and uh, he's settling right in. And um, so going to work on his diet, get him started on his... Uh, feed protocol, which I'll do another vlog on that. Um, and then, of course, I like to start all mine just on straight alfalfa. It does a really good job on their tummies and really helps them kind of add the weight on and kind of encourages <laughs> um, some good eating. So you'll see he's just playing around here a little bit. And so now he will go on, once he settles down, um, making sure he's quite happy being out and, and um, learning about the fence. Um, he'll go out on nighttime turnout because it is quite warm in the bugs, and he is a little ginger, so he's got quite sensi sensitive skin. But again, coming off the track, I'm not really going to ride him um, anytime at the moment. I want him to have some just relaxation, let all of his muscles kind of calm down and start gaining weight and just be a horse and he's got a lot of growing to do because he's all kinds of legs and he needs to do some filling out so it's going to be fun to watch him change uh, and then of course the farrier will be coming soon to kind of redo his shoes and give him a start that you can see kind of <laughs> Megan was trying to get him to just move around a little bit and I really liked seeing that confidence in him some because uh, he actually wasn't too worried about it. And he was pretty confident and walked right into the pressure. So kind of some little clues in watching him kind of trot around. Again, he's not too worried. And he had just raced, I believe, May 9th. So again, really excited to kind of follow this guy. And you can see his feet and just a little bit of his little nicks and scrapes that he had from interfering with himself. So that's the introduction to Ron and I'll bring you guys another update soon.